All right, we're going to be getting started here in just a minute. If you're watching this as a live recording, uh, just skip ahead a little bit until you see the camera pop up. Uh, and we'll be, like I said, getting started here in just a second. All right, good afternoon, or good, uh, it's like midnight, but I wanted to do this um, anyway, so I got home a little later than expected, but we're going to still try this out. Um, so I've been seeing some YouTube videos on people using the new Siri interface on iOS 18 beta 1, which uh, for these of you who don't know, um, the new interface is not a part of beta 1, um, neither is any of the Apple intelligence stuff. Uh, so if we uh, pop up uh, Siri here. Let's see if we can get the camera to work. Might have to restart that. I don't know why we're green down there, but give me one second. There we go. So if we bring up Siri here, uh, you can see we just have the regular UI right there, nothing special. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try this out. Um, here we're going to follow this guide. On uh, This is just on Mac Rumors. You can just Google um, new Siri UI. This does not enable any of the Apple intelligence features. This is simply just enabling the UI. Uh, so we need Calabunga right here, um, and I think we need this right here as well. So we're just going to um, download these required files. Uh, I guess this one. <coughs> All right, so. We're going to download and install the Calabunga Lite, which we have right here. Just going to move that over to Applications. And all right, let's see, one second, I gotta enable. open anyway all right there we go I'm just gonna put that over there on the side a little bit and okay we need to temporarily turn off find my iPhone So I'm going to do that real quick here on my phone. All right, 
right, so we got that turned off. Um, connect your device via USB cable. All right. Grab a cable here. And we'll plug that in. All right, so we got it plugged in. Uh, let me make sure it pops up. Yep, all right, so that is connected. I don't really know what this does. Um, refresh this. Yeah, I guess you can do different. Oh no, looks like you can do a bunch of different customizations with this, but um, we're going to go to custom operations and we're going to import that and we're going to import the iOS 18 Siri. Click edit. Enable. Apply. And it looks like it's restarting. So it's restarting, and it says down here it will restart. Uh, do not tap the big blue button. Let's see. So just on this, make sure you click on continue with partial setup. Don't tap the erase and continue. Uh, if you click that, you're going to lose your data. Um, if you continue with the partial setup like I just hit here, um, the data will still be intact. Uh, so there you go, you can see all my stuff is still there um, and everything is set up just the way it was. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and try the new Siri and see if it works. Sensitive UI is fine. All right, so I don't know what uh, that is supposed to mean, but um, do not use within 50 feet of undisclosed individuals disable by going to Livability App Futures WWDC 24 GM SAE off. Okay, whatever that means. Um, I'm going to see if that app is even on here. I don't see if that Livability App that it's referring to. I think that might be something to, might have something to do with the new feature. Um, and it was a warning to like testers. All right, so yep, it does it does indeed work. Uh, so you can see the new UI right there. Uh, and one thing that also didn't work in uh, beta one is the double tap the home bar to uh, bring up Siri right here where you can type to it. Um, And it does work, everything is working. Um, as you can see there, we have the weather. 
all that kind of stuff does work. Um, this is not the Apple Intelligence stuff though. Like I said, it's just the Siri UI. Uh, so let's go to Siri here and see if we have any new settings. I don't think we do. <coughs> I did notice this on the top. I don't know if this is new. I guess we can check on my other device here. It says it will use on device intelligence to um, know when to speak or be a, you know, like silent mode. Let's see. Okay, no, that is uh, something that is also on my stock iPhone SE here. Um, so that is not something that is new. Uh, but here's the, like I said, here, here it is again. What's the weather like? So you can see it's not responding uh, with voice right now. I can probably turn that on. Um, let me turn silent mode off and see if that does it what's the weather it's currently clear and 70 degrees is it going to be hot tomorrow expect some clear skies tomorrow so yeah you can see we have the regular Siri here um, still like I said it's not the Apple intelligence or any of that but here's the sound it makes when hold up the microphone uh, here's the sound it makes when you invoke it with the audio on so that's what it sounds like when you uh, when you hold the button like that and of course this right here is silent this is made just to type to it um, so they did make uh, typing to it without having to use voice or anything like that a little bit easier um, you could always do that but you had to have um, the transcription on um, and when you did that you could tap in the the box and actually type to it but now you can just do it by double tapping on the home bar on the new UI um, so Siri will be using Apple Intelligence um, features and stuff like that here. It looks like it actually reset my uh, sleep timer when I did this. Let me check and see why it's going to sleep so quickly. Yeah, for some reason my auto lock, I have my auto lock set to five minutes, but when I, after I did this, it reset my auto lock to uh, 30 seconds. But um, everything else is working, so that's what it looks like. That's how easy it was to do. Um, like I said, if you just search up, I'll actually link the... Um, this Mac rumor thing in the uh, description for the stream. Uh, so I just link this in the uh, live stream description. So if anybody wants to uh, follow along on this guide uh, right here, it's pretty easy to do. You just need to download this Calabunga Light, uh, download the uh, Calperation, I guess is what it's called, Calperation, dot Calperation, um, and then basically just do a custom operation, hit apply, it'll restart, and you are done. Um, you can also do this on Mac. There are instructions for doing this on uh, Mac as well, uh, down here at the bottom. You can enable it on Mac OS Sequoia. I'm not going to do that right now, um, but it does work on the iPhone. It was really easy to do. All the stuff you need to do it is free, and it's right here at the top. Uh, and you can try out that new Siri UI a little bit uh, earlier. I don't know if we'll get the Siri UI here in Beta Lake 2 or if Apple is waiting on the um, Apple intelligence before they release all that kind of stuff. So I guess we'll just have to see, only time will tell. Um, we of course didn't get a new beta this week, so hopefully next week it's probably gonna be a every two week uh, release schedule for betas uh, here at the beginning. And then once it gets closer, we'll get uh, you know the weekly betas right before iOS 18 comes out to the public. I am Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, 